I think it's very important to see how we can avoid plastic litter, how we can we, how we can look for alternative products, how we can maybe even forbid some things and in general to raise awareness. We'll pick up as much as we can. We'll make sure that we use less than we use today and also be part of a circular economy. But it's also important to work internationally. Uh, marine waste is a global problem, so we have to work within uh, the UN, but also with cooperating con countries, both in Europe and elsewhere, but also developing countries. So how can we reduce their waste? And how can we, there are countries we also can learn from, but how can we build also waste management systems that uh, are forward-looking so that we can reduce the amount of waste that we have in our, our oceans. So this isn't perhaps just about plastics, it's also about our habits in terms of littering other items. So it would be a mistake perhaps to think we completely deal with this problem just by say switching from a plastic item to a non-plastic item or indeed from a plastic item derived from fossil plastics to one that's based on um, biodegradable materials. Currently we have uh, analyzed it in the sense of what is uh, having a, an impact in terms of its proportionality between measures and impact on producers, consumers and authorities and also in terms of respecting the division of labor between uh, the European Union and member states. I think a lot more can be done in member states at local and regional level but certainly as things go on we will have to consider whether at the EU level we couldn't or shouldn't do more. There's no one single policy that can be the solution uh, for marine plastics. I think we are looking at different uh, policy options um, and the main message from us is that the consumer focus is missing. We are talking a lot about producer responsibilities, which of course we take into consideration and we are committed to it, but we are lacking to see where is what it's triggering the consumer to actually drop these items in the sea. We cannot recycle our way out of this plastic problem. More has to be done. The problem is so big, so the policy interventions really have to be about prevention. And prevention at source. So limiting the amount of plastic that actually enters the market. And when we actually use plastic to use it in a responsible way for products that are designed for recycling, repair, reuse, and also for products that are designed for uh, being used for a really long time, not just for um, a single use of minutes or even sometimes seconds. The more we're finding out, the worse it looks. And so we, we really do need to take some action now um, to, to try and address this problem. Thank you.